Hello. Welcome to this performance of two pieces of music composed by Eric Satie. The first piece is entitled Dried Embryos. This rather bizarre title uh, refers to three fanciful sea creatures, um, which supposedly have been dried and preserved for study. Uh, you might, like you might think of in a museum somewhere. A whimsical, snarky text uh, is included throughout the published piece, um, and just describing, um, you know, the the various these creatures, the kind of the the things that go on in their lives, um, and uh, it, really, you don't need to listen to the text. I've included it in the video, but you can also just listen to the music, uh, which has. Um, you know, a lot of interest on its own. Um, but this is, again, a piece from Satie's kind of humorous period. Uh, the second piece that I'll be playing is uh, towards the end. I think it's the last piece in his um, kind of satiric period um, called the Bureaucratic Sonatina. This is a parody of the famous Sonatina Opus 36 Number 1 by Muzio Clementi that's so famous um, especially among uh, piano students, you know, a kind of a beginner's piano piece uh, that many pianists know. Um, and again, there's the, the kind of a humorous text that goes along with it. Um, I think it's really interesting. This piece dates from 1917, um, and it predates Stravinsky's Pulcinella. Uh, Pulcinella was from 1920. And Stravinsky um, used music of, of Pergolesi, another 18th century composer uh, um, like Clementi, um, you know, as a parody, a source of the parody of this music. And the parody, of course, means that you can really hear the original music that it's based upon, but there's some alterations uh, that these composers use um, that uh, give it a fresh character. But um, you know it's still clearly based on the original. Uh, and you can hear the the Pergolesi and Stravinsky, but it's interesting. That's the beginning of Stravinsky's um, neoclassical period. I mean, here Satie, um, you know, anticipates that by three years. Um, Satie is not to be underestimated. You know, much of his music seems simple, but it is not. It is extremely well crafted music. Um, so anyway, um, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, this kind of humorous pair of pieces.
Thank you. 